here we are in Qashqai and we're with a group of pilgrims from Botswana and South Africa. Say hello everybody. Hello everybody. <laughs> How's it been, the pilgrimage and this, these two weeks in, in uh, Portugal? Well, it has been great. Um, as the young people of South Africa and Botswana, we have started with days in dioceses and among other things that we have learned is that as young people, unity in diversity was definitely a part of our center. And also that we have learned that um, we've created actually a third culture as the young people. It was my culture, your culture and our culture together. So, Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes? No? Okay. <laughs> I think most of the things that one has learned, it was amongst um, being united with other young people um, all over the world. And spirituality as well has been the center of everything. And we have gained a lot of um, mercy from God and love as well. And we are happy. We are happy and we have enjoyed ourselves these past two weeks. Fantastic. And we have seen the Pope as well yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just from adoration, um, which I feel like it was a beautiful experience, having to experience God's mercy in the church and also through the sacrament of reconciliation. So it's among the other highlights of the World Youth Day. And what are you looking forward to now? The night visual. The night visual. The night visual. Yeah. Yeah. The Pope. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the Sunday Mass? Oh, yes. Of course. Of course. Fantastic. Of the cross later and the visual. Right. Do you have any message for the people in Botswana or South Africa, the young people? Yes, yes. Uh, it's a lovely experience to come. So I'll really encourage them uh, to be part of the, uh, the youth of the world, also to come to the next one. Fantastic. In South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> and, even if, so, my and even if they can't join us like physically, they can still join us and follow the ENTW the ENT, TV, yeah. whereby they can be part or one with us, with the Holy Mass, with the, um, the Holy Father. Fantastic. Anybody else? Another thing that we are bringing to them, we are going to bring knowledge, what we have learned and what we are going to do in our own different dioceses that Whatever that we have learned, we are going to implement it in our own diocese going forward. I think it's something that we are proud of and it's something that we need to do. And it's something that we have to implement and we continue. Thank you very much. And Bishop, you led the Holy Hour. Are you from Australia? I am. I am. What, what's your name? Columba. Columba. Bishop Columba. <laughs> Is it your first time for a World Youth Day? Second time. Right. Second time. Have you enjoyed it? Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. And one, one, one of the highlights was, was the Holy Hour with these beautiful young people here. The singing is... Thank you. We don't have singing that good. Oh. <laughs> Great. Well, really, thank you very, very much to all of you. And I hope the next couple of days are very beautiful for all of you and a deeply spiritual event as well. Thank you. Everywhere we go. two youth that have joined this um, World Youth Day pilgrimage. We started with the Camino just to um, deepen our spirituality and expose our youth to this wonderful, wonderful initiative of World Youth Day. What have you been enjoying so far? Speak up. I've been enjoying the whole experience with all the other countries here together. Great. Meeting new people. Meeting new people. Oh, the country as well, the, 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 the new country, it's beautiful. Yeah. Have you found the people friendly? Yes. That's great. Yes, Andrew? especially the Portuguese people are very friendly. But I think what struck me the most is how the number of young Catholic people that are actually pra are still practicing the faith. It's, it's really uh, impressive yeah. to see the reverence at the masses, etc. And the number of priests are fantastic to see such young, young priests. It's, it's overwhelming to see the number of young priests 
all over the world um, joining in one place. So yeah, it's, it's a beautiful experience. Fantastic. Yes. Any message for the people back home? Yeah, just to say to the people back home that know that this is a wonderful experience that we're going through and that we are keeping a lot of you in our prayers. We're praying for you on the spiritual journey as well and representing our country very proudly as well. We left on the 24th of July to come uh, here for the World Youth Day. As you know, it's divided into two. There are days in Daosis, so we went to Braga with some of the young people, and it was very much exciting um, to learn the culture and the life of the people of uh, Portugal, the north of Portugal. And then um, we had some activities with them and the families and community was very much uh, welcoming. We learned a lot from them. And then on the 31st, we came down here to Lisbon. Um, some of us are staying in town, some are staying outside of town. Um, we are excited to be here, uh, there are activities, but of course, we are also adjusting to the culture, the weather, and uh, getting lost, but at the end of the day, we're excited to see uh, young people, uh, the bishops and the clergy gathered here. So far, I've had um, positive responses from young people who are excited, especially those who have attended for the first time, to see so many young people. And it's actually encouraging from them, for them. And also, there are some who actually attended some of the masses. They were excited because they could see the young people leading masses, singing so well, leading prayers and reflections and giving witness uh, to their faith, talking about the experiences they've had, um, having an encounter with Jesus Christ, especially those who have attended before. And we do hope that um, we could have more people attending the World Youth Day in our home. Um, as we know that the influence doesn't only come from the bottom, but it also comes from the top. The World Youth Day can influence our conferences and our dioceses and our parishes in terms of uh, formation of young people. As we know, we are struggling after the um, uh, COVID-19. So we do hope that um, those who have come are not just here as um, uh, tourists, but are here as pilgrims to learn more and then go back and, and share with others. Also part of the World Youth Day 
And, uh, I must say, it's my second time to participate in a World Youth Day. But immediately I really felt at home, especially the welcome which was given to us already at the airport. And when I came, in fact, I am myself from Belgium originally, and I came from Brussels. And there already I met a Belgian group of pilgrims, of young people, and they wanted the prayer. So at the airport we prayed already for the World Youth Day. And then today I had a catechesis in one of the parishes where there was a, quite a mix of people from all the continents, in fact, from America, from Asia, from Europe, from Africa, all together. And really, when I went around, we had different uh, small groups who had been given some questions and they shared, and I felt how deep and how open those people were. They're sharing together, about how they could reach out to others. Then you could feel they are not just there for themselves, but to reach out to others in need, whatever their need. And so myself, I go with a very positive uh, feeling. Um, these few days we had already, and we are all looking forward to meet with the Holy Father, who will be there this afternoon and uh, surely until the end of the World Youth Day. So my message to the youth is, um, you surely we should be very thankful what, for what we receive here, and not just keep it for ourselves, but share it with others. This is my first time to attend uh, the World Youth Day here in Portugal. I'm so impressed to see so many a multitude and multitude of the youth from different countries with great numbers some 200 and more from other countries this is really impressing uh, also to see the organization or the arrangement done here up to so far is so marvelous and people here are very hospitality they are good in welcoming everybody. Everything is arranged, the transport, movement, residence, food, everything so well organized. It's such an interesting and really energizing and refreshing experience of our faith. No one can give you this except that you are in the midst of our own, of our own crowd, of our own church. And for our young people, all of them who have been here now, they said they will tell others that this is an experience, most probably for our, for us as well, that it has to come from above this time, not from below, because sometimes the parishes are not as active as the, as the diocese and the conference. So from the conference, we have to in, encourage the young people to come to their dioceses and then, and then as well to enjoy this, this, party, the, 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 this experience. How's your experience been in Portugal so far? Oh, so lovely. Beautiful. Eye-opening, definitely. Having the most wonderful time. Great. Interesting hearing stories from around the world about conversions and the experiences of pilgrims in this journey. Brilliant. Thank you. It has been wonderful. Wonderful. And you're in Fatima today. How's Fatima been for you? Wow. Yeah, no <laughs> There's words. no way. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. Yeah. Did you visit the graves of the three young saints? Um, or the two young saints, I beg your pardon? No, I think they were open. Yeah, they weren't open for us to go see. Oh, but what a we, pity. We got to go to Mass yeah. and it was amazing. Where was the Mass? In the um, sanctuary. sanctuary of the Apparition. Apparition, Apparition. fantastic. Yes.
Se forma en que una sola familia, consagrada a vos o no, por Cristo nuestro Señor. fantastic event uh, so far. We just completed uh, the welcoming ceremony with the Holy Father and it was very er uh, electric. Uh, the youth were really ecstatic to see him arrive and the Pope had a lot of energy and uh, I didn't understand the Spanish but all I heard was that God is for all of us, the kingdom is for us, the church is for all of us and we should all say we are together. So we repeated todos, 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 todos many times. And the attendance is great. I don't know how, I think we have over a million people over here. And those on the streets who could not enter the venue were also about the same number. It's, it's an event not to be missed next time. Does that make you less 